Hi, I'm Andy Shipsides from Abel Cinetech in New York, and today I get to show you guys the brand new HPX 2700, or the Panasonic Vericam. This is a successor to the original Vericam, and has a whole host of new improvements, of course. Uh, actually, so many new improvements that we're going to split this into two sections, the first being sort of broad strokes, and the second being fine camera tour sort of details, going over the small little things that change that really make a difference. But First, we want to talk about really the biggest improvement of all, and that's the conversion from tape to P2. Now, right away, you see five card slots on the camera. We can actually put in 532 gig cards or 564 gig cards when they come out in the fall, and you'll have a long period of recording on this in DVC Pro HD as it, as it was, or using the brand new AVCI codec, the AVCI intro codec, for even higher quality recordings. Now, this is a real clincher here, AVCI. Uh, at 100 megabits is running at, a ten, at 10 bits as opposed to 8 in DVC Pro HD, as well as full raster, 422 color space. This is, a, this is a huge deal. This is like D5 quality, basically, right out of your camera, a very portable format. It's actually probably the, one of the, well, definitely one of the, the best codecs available, especially, especially within the portable market. Can't beat that. Uh, you also have the, DV, the ABC i50 recording modes, which will, record, which will extend your record times twice as long as DVC Pro HD and still be the same quality. So right there, great improvements. Um, in addition, P2 allows you to do some other things that you couldn't really do in the Vericam, like uh, in, uh, interval recordings at one frame a second, uh, one frame at a time. As that, that's time lapse, one frame at a time. In the Vericam, it was limited to a four frame buffer. So now we can do that one through 60. We can also record variable frame rates one through 60, which is something you could not do, again, in the Vericam originally. This is, uh, again, uh, something that people have been asking for and they incorporated into that. P2 opens the door to all this sort of stuff. Also, you could do an off-speed recording, like you could do in the Vericam, say at 60 frames over 24, and then play that back right out, of the, right out of the camera and see the slow motion effect happening right in front of you. This is, again, something you could not do in the Vericam. People ask for all the time, want to be able to see it on the playback. There it is right in the camera. The, uh, the, the playback system works like, just like any other P2 product. Actually, I'm going to rotate the camera around to get a better look at the other side. And you're going to see, one, an LCD display, which is sort of common for Panasonic cameras now, as well as a, as well as a thumbnail view, which I can get to just by clicking on the side here. Actually, you'll see the playback controls up here for the, th for the, the clips. I hit thumbnail, and I see this sort of normal thumbnail display with all the, all the clips on it. Every time I take a, 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 a video clip, every time I start and stop the camera, I'm just going to generate a new video clip for me. And I can just see that and I can move around here and play back the clips, delete them if I like to, transfer them off to a hard drive. Again, these are all benefits of P2 uh, and right here, off-speed recording, played back out, huge, huge benefit. So a lot of possibilities here. But uh, 720 is not the only record option here. We can also do 1080, 24, 1080, 30, 1080, 25, 60i, 50i, all recording natively directly on the card. And that also includes the DVC Pro HD codec that we've all been using for so long that uh, legacy systems can use, um, or anybody not ready for the AVCI universe just yet. So in the next section, we're going to really cover all those nitty-gritty things, all those bells and whistles that really show the improvement of the camera overall, the small details that Panasonic has paid attention to, the requests of the Vericam users that have made this camera even more powerful of a device. So stay tuned, and we'll go through the camera full tour in the next section. Thanks.